Hello everybody and welcome back to The Sims 1 Complete Collection. Here with me, Tea Addict. How are you guys going? Happy, happy, happy Friday. I hope you have all got a really nice humongous cup of tea like I do because oh my god, I, if you're anything like me today, you need this. <laughs> I need this. Mm, so good. Tell you what, that's like the third or so sip I've had of that cup of tea and when I had the first sip of that cup of tea it hit me just like oh like a lovely warm blanket anyway how are you guys going um I, first of all of course an apology that I owe to you all for no episode last week I'm sorry I know there was meant to be an episode and there wasn't um I have no good excuse other than that I just was not in the headspace for recording episodes of anything last week. I did do a couple at the start of the week and then I just degraded and I just got really tired and couldn't deal with life. Basically, I had a mental health crash last week and I needed to take some time to recover. So I am sorry that there was no video last week, but we're back today. So <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. Um, don't want to go into too much more detail. But yeah, I hope you guys are good. We are back with Julia and Wesley today and we have no idea what's going on. Well, I have no idea what's going on. Um, we've got this tiny little garden over here that we've been working on, which I kind of wouldn't mind expanding and making a bit bigger and better. Um, and also like expanding our harvesting efforts would probably be a good thing too. Making some more um, nectar and everything. Oh, apparently we've actually got some nectar in here that we could totally just sell. So that could be fun. Um, I did have a Wesley check the calendar just earlier off camera. So I'll have him do it again. Um, it's actually day 14 and today is therefore a weekend. I can't believe we've already played through enough days that it's the weekend again. That's crazy to me. But I feel like this means that we need to make the most of today, enjoy today. Uh, you know, take the day off to do some stuff with Julia and Wesley. These guys work so hard, particularly Julia, and I guess Wesley does as well. Uh, but I really like the idea of kind of like having these two just take a day off to enjoy and relax together. Um, so what I might do is have them sort of get dressed and ready, and then we might actually have them go on a special date downtown because I think it's high time. I think we're overdue for a date with these two sims. And you guys keep telling me there's so much more of the game that I haven't even like discovered yet and that I don't know anything about and that I should go and explore places more and, and all that kind of thing. So we might go ahead and, and try to do a little bit of that today. Um, I'm going to have them just have a, uh, an intimate hug um, maybe just talk about interests a little bit just to get them like sort of started on this nice, uh, you know, thing that they're doing. Um, I can say invite downtown or I can say invite to old town. I feel like we've gone downtown a bit and it would be nice to maybe invite him to old town instead. So maybe let's go ahead and do that and see if we can find somewhere fun. Oh, the phone's ringing. Well, that's awkward considering we're trying to call a cab right now. You're a summer and should decorate accordingly if you want to live most harmoniously in your house. Thank you. Um, <laughs> let's try that again. Yeah, we need to find somewhere fun to hang out because Julia and Wesley are both in need of fun. Isn't that a weekend mood? It definitely is for me this weekend. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll have to try to find somewhere where they can play some games or, you know, do something, do something to, to fill their fun needs up. Um, I also just want to quickly check the who's hot list just to see where we're at um, in terms of our celebrity uh, status and everything. Um, so Jessica somebody is up top. We are number six. I think, feel like we're getting back up there. I also noticed that Angela and Raquel are on the list above me um, and Don Bon Lovi is, is, is there as well. But isn't it ironic that the people we befriended, the people we helped, you know, to move forwards in their own fame careers and are more famous than us. I'm not sure if I'm okay with this, to be honest, but it is what it is, I guess. Okay, so here is Old Town. I don't know where we want to go, but maybe Sim Central Park? I mean, there's so many different places. Um, there's like farmer's markets, there's this pet paradise place, MacArthur Square? Got Old Town Quarter. Maybe let's try MacArthur Square. Let's see what we can do here in, in this Old Town Park. Okay, so it looks like 
There is a giant, awesome playground here. So if we had a kid, this would be great for them. Unfortunately, we don't have a kid right now, so that's less than ideal. We do have a coffee station and a pastry station. Um, and we do have a saxophone player, W.C. Friendly. But it doesn't look like there's as much here for adults to do. Um, so I'm not like a huge huge fan of that. I do see Mortimer Goth here, so we might just go and say hi to him real quick. Um, Morty is is kind of kind of our friend and also kind of not our friend. Um, okay. Uh, well, actually, Morty doesn't seem to want to talk to us. Let's do a hand by the Ross Wesley and think, see if he finds it funny. He did find it funny. That's good. <laughs> Let's just talk to him a little bit more and then... Yeah, no, I, I kind of would like to try going somewhere else, I think. Um, which I actually am not sure how to do. We've got a bin. Oh, there it is. Call a cab. Um, yeah, so I want to go somewhere else just because, oh, this is so fun. Look at this. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, there's a nice bird aviary over here too. But yeah, I want somewhere that these guys can, can have a fun time, um, and kind of do some stuff. So let's just, let's just continue interacting together and see if we can just cheer ourselves up. Let's do a bit of a gossip. As if we can't tell a joke to Wesley. Oh, he didn't like the gossip. Oh, awkward. Um, okay, that's fine. Let's try another lot. I'm glad I came to this one, though, because now I know that when we do have a kid, there's a lovely park here that we can bring them to for a fun time. Okay, this is... All right, so then next to that, we have the Old Town Quarter. I'm pretty sure I've been there. Um, that's where the goth senior family live. Crumple Bottom Mart. The old, this old town treasure boasts an innovative floor plan. Oh, that's a residential lot, right. Um, this is a community lot. The pool hall is rumored to be a favorite old town hangout of the legendary jazz musicians. The upstairs cafe offers a beautiful view of the lake. Okay, well, pool is good. We could play some pool. Maybe let's go here. Let's check this place out. And there is indeed a beautiful lake and a beautiful view from the, uh, the upstairs cafe, I'm guessing. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a beautiful view. Love this for us. This is really nice. Cool. All right. But yeah, let's go and hit, let's go and play some pool. Um, and let's see if Wesley would like to join us. I don't even know where Wesley. Oh, there he is. Um, do you want to join us? Are you automatically joining us? I hope you are because you need to have some fun as well. There we go. And then we'll need to we'll need to go and eat. Um, because that'll be, that'll be good for us. That'll improve our mood as well. And if we don't eat, Wesley might get a bit grumpy <laughs> about the fact that we're not eating. I also notice our energy and comfort getting a bit low. So maybe we could grab a coffee as well after dinner and after dinner coffee. Oh my gosh, that reminds me. Have you guys, um, seen or heard of the comedian Michael McIntyre? He is a, uh, an English comedian and he does this certain sketch on, um, how no adult, no adult would ever have a coffee at like, you know, seven or eight o'clock at night after dinner as like a dessert snack. But for some reason at a restaurant, when the waiter comes over and says, oh, yes, would you like a coffee? We go, oh, yes, I will. I'll have one. Yeah, no, coffee sounds good. Yeah. And then, you know, much later at night, you're lying in bed just going like, why did I do this to myself? It is a hilarious skit. If you haven't checked out Michael McIntyre, I highly recommend you do. Um, he is just, yeah, he's amazing. He's one of my all time favorite comedians. Makes me just laugh and laugh and laugh. Uh, Wesley's little plum bob here has gone purple also. Is that a really bad thing? Does that mean he's in a really bad mood or does that mean he's okay? I don't, I don't know. I can't tell, <laughs> but we're going to, we're going to drink a coffee to give ourselves a little boost of energy. Julia, why don't you go ahead and sit down? There you go. So we're drinking a coffee together and we're talking about politics. How wonderful. And the stock market. In the stock monkey crashing in their portfolios. Okay, and this is fun for us as well, so that's really nice. Cool. Um, okay. What else can we what else can we do at this lot? Is there is there much else? Wesley also really needs to pee. Wesley, I highly recommend that you go and go and use the bathroom. Lots of Sims downstairs. Oh, Bella Goth is here. Oh, we should totally greet Bella Goth and say hi. Shake hands and have a good time. Oh no! Julia Hero, did you just break a toilet? Did you actually just break the toilet? <gasps> Wait, 
What is going on? Someone is like... What is going on? I think Brad and Tiffany Burb just had like a domestic. I think they're really mad at each other. I feel like Tiffany is in a terrible mood and, and doesn't want to... Um, doesn't want Brad to be like kissing her right now or something. <laughs> That's quite interesting. That's quite interesting actually. Nice. All right. But yeah, I just want to talk to Bella a little bit to see if we can work on that friendship a little. I would love it if we could actually be friends with our neighbors, the goths who are not really our neighbors, but you know, close enough. Um, and then we probably have to go ahead and call the cab to go home because their moods are just, just not great at this point. Um, but we do have a couple other sims here of interest. We do also have uh, Mama, who I wish we could talk to. Um, and yeah, quite a lot of stuff going on. But that's okay. I mean, I think we've had a nice time. We came, we played some pool. Um, we, we had a pastry and a coffee and we looked at the beautiful lake out the window. I mean, that's a nice date night. That's a great date night, if you ask me. Speaking of, it is date night for me tonight. I'm very excited. I think we're just going to go out for dinner because we're both exhausted. Because we've both had a really big week. <laughs> but it's, it's always nice just to even go out for a meal and just spend time together and focus on each other. It's nice. It's nice. So these guys should be should be happy. We could also have a little bit of fun in the, the heart bed. But um, I feel like they're too tired <laughs> at this point. No, don't get in. Wesley? Wesley? Don't pass out, buddy. Go to bed. Go have some... Oh, no. And now he's like, he's passed out and he's like, oh, it's so loud in here. This stupid stereo woke me up. This, this is rough, man. This is a hard knock life. <laughs> Poor Wes. <laughs> That's okay. He can go to sleep. There you go, buddy. Um, But yeah, like... Don Bon Lovi is no longer a family friend. Oh, and for a second I thought that was um, Spork inside my bedroom there, but it's not. It's the it's the identical cat, Callie. But that's just reminded me. I should have a look and see if Spork is around anywhere. Oh my gosh, did I just get Julia out of bed to answer the phone and then it stopped ringing? Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> that's so annoying. All right, keep napping. Nap for a bit longer. You're okay. And then Wesley, because he is a doll, is going to get up clean this up and cook us some dinner um, because he's just such a great guy. And then Wesley, why don't you go, I mean, Wesley, Julia, why don't you go ahead and take a bath? Relax. Just kick back. Oh, maybe I'll have a bath tonight too. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. But yeah, kick back, relax while your hubby makes some dinner. I think that's a nice idea. Um, and that'll be really good for you. There you go. I wonder what the phone call was. Hopefully it wasn't anyone complaining about at Julia for not being in studio town today. We took one day off, guys. Let us have one day. We needed this one day, okay? <laughs> there you go, Julia. Go, go and get yourself some dinner made by the lovely Wesley. Um, and then we will probably just send them... I mean, Wesley needs to have a bath as well. So maybe he can do that. And then Julia can just, like, chill out... Um, tomorrow I'm going to send her back down to Studio Town to try to earn more cash monies because I would really like these guys to get their hot tub back as we were sort of working towards last episode. And I also really want her to get her five star celebrity status back. That's very important to me that Julia is actually a famous sim. <laughs> oh my god, Spike! No, don't, don't drink out of the toilet. Bad Spike. Let's um let's call him over in a second and, and pay him some attention. Usually when your dog's not behaving, it's because he needs some more attention. Usually. There he is. Okay, so let's um play with let's give him a hug. Let's give him a wrestle. <laughs> and then let's praise him. And then let's tell him to sit and stay and be a good boy. Right, there we go. Wesley does also need to have a little bit more fun. So I'm going to get him to uh, work a bit on his creativity skill. He needs another creativity skill point for his next promotion. Um, and I'm pretty sure he's actually like pretty close to being top of the technical career, the technology career in The Sims 1. 
which is extremely exciting, something I've definitely never accomplished before. But I think um, his career is definitely helping with their overall like money. Like I think they have a lot more and it's a lot less stressful on Julia now that he's earning, at the moment he's earning 1,100 smolians a day, which is just crazy. It's so much money. Um, so yeah, that's really helpful. Okay, for now though, I'm going to have to get him to go to bed and then we will work on some more stuff in the morning. Now, I am thinking it is like really getting close to the time I want Julia and Wesley to have a child. Um, I think that's like kind of like an end goal um, for me in this series is to get them to have a baby and be able to, you know, like uh, give it a nice room and have the child grow up and everything. Um, but another thing that I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about, so we might talk about it now while Julia's just taking a shower, is I think I would like to start playing some of the other families in rotation um, and kind of start a bit of a new Sims 1 series. I know, I know, who um, that rotates around the neighborhoods and plays everyone. And of course, we would still play Julia and Wesley because they'd be part of our rotation. But like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Like we could, we could play with other families. We could see what just happened with Tiffany and Brad Burb and see if we can fix their relationship. See if we can get them to have a child and name it John and another one and name it, um, oh no, John's an only child, isn't he? Yeah. So he's, he's actually an only child, but you know what I mean? Like, I think that could be fun. Um, so let me know what you think of that idea. It's something that I've been thinking about. Um, and particularly when I saw what happened with <laughs> Tiffany and Brad down, um, downtown down in old town yesterday that really did like sort of drove that home that I want to I want to play around with some of the other families see what drama we can create in a sims one like whole neighborhood style because I think that would just be cool right but for now we're going to get Julia to go down to studio town um she's got to do a couple more gigs she's got to try to run into Don Bun Lovi and rekindle that friendship hopefully he doesn't crash the game um and then hopefully we will um yeah just like get up back up to five stars soon yes please thank you why don't you just do a little bit of dancing Julia while you wait for your cab to get here just have a little fun yeah shake that booty swing those arms do see do and what no do, not do see do do see do and something else. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, let's let's go to Studio Town. Wesley is just gonna hang out at home. He's gonna take care of the garden a little bit um, and just clean up a little bit. It's gonna be fine. He's gonna he's gonna have a great time. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, so let's probably go to this lot here. Okay, and then let's say hi to, is that Don Bun Lovie? It is Don Bun Lovie. Oh, brilliant. Okay, let's go and shake his hand. Hello. He's also got a star above his head, so he's clearly doing very well. Okay, let's talk about the biz, catch up on all the goss. We can flirt, we can compliment, we can cast. Let's talk about our interests. Let's talk about ourselves. Yay! And we're friends again. Excelente. We've also got Zachary over here, who's kind of our friend. And I did see Lee before, but our relationship with her right now is pretty solid. I'd rather focus on um on Don here a little bit, just because like hopefully we can solidify this friendship a little more by interacting with him a fair bit. Oh, he didn't like that joke. Oh crap. Um, let's just do, can we do like a friendly hug? Oh my god, I just hugged, I just hugged John Bon Jovi's, like, oh my god. Oh, okay, cool, I'm just gonna calm down now. All right, let's go over here, let's do a fight scene. Maybe he'll actually do a scene with us. I think I would die. Oh my gosh. True story, actually, I was, um, oh, he's gonna, he's gonna do a scene with us. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he'll want to use this footage for, like, his latest music video clip or something. We better not mess it up. Uh, let's go, let's go for confidence, confidence, passion, and passion, because we are confident and we are passionate about our love for Don Bun Lovi. Uh, he hates it. Okay. Well now we're just angry. Let's just go for full anger. Oh my God, we killed him. <laughs> that was good though. We got two out of three. So that is acceptable. He's, <laughs> Don Bun Lovi's like, oh my gosh, this, uh. Seth fan, he must be really annoying. <laughs> yes, yes he is. 
Uh, very annoying. Okay, well that was awesome. Let's celebrate by going and getting in the hot tub and see if he'll see if he'll get in with us. <laughs> no, but I was literally thinking the other day because I was driving home. Um, I've been doing a lot of driving lately, like a lot of driving, just doing works work related stuff and um, house related stuff as well. But I was listening to some John Bon John Bon Jovi. I can't say his name properly anymore. And I was like, dude, if I actually met this guy in real life, I think I would have a literal fangirl moment. Oh, is he getting in with us? He's naked. No, Ju Julia, don't talk about things we don't get along about. Let's talk <laughs> talk about style. Let's we, we gotta talk about things that he likes, not things that he doesn't like, okay? <laughs> Let's talk about Hollywood a little bit as well. This is amazing. <laughs> We're literally naked skinny dipping in a hot tub with Don Bun Lovey right now. What? Okay, he's really hungry, so he's getting out of the hot tub. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get out as well. And we should also say hi to Lee since she's like standing right here. Let's go ahead and do an air kiss. Oh my god, she's excited to see us. Honey, we're friends. It's okay, you're fine. Uh, let's talk about the biz a little bit. Just catch up with Lee, see what's been going on. It's all good. We could also do, can we do a photo op? Um, I honestly forget how to do that. Ask? Stage photo op? Since the paparazzi guy's like right here. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Now let's come and do another scene because I feel like we should try to do another scene today before we go home. Hopefully it'll be enough to bump us back up to that five stars. Really would like to. It looks like Alicia's going to act it out with us. Thank you, honey. Are we friends with her yet? I've been seeing her around for ages. No, I don't think we are. That's okay. Okay, so let's do uh, injustice. Injustice and rage. He liked the first one. He didn't like the second one. And he didn't like the third one. Ooh, okay. Let's do injustice, apathy, and apathy. Fingers crossed. Nope. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness we got that third one right. Oh my goodness. That is such a relief. There we go. Now we have another 900 bucks in the bank account, but we are still not back to five star celebrity status. Oh, that makes me mad. All right, let's see. Can we do like, can we do one more scene? Is anyone still here who will act with us? Jessica's here somewhere, isn't she? Jess, Jessica, honey. My, my dearest and oldest and truest friend, would you please come and act out a scene with me? Please? Nah, Jessica's too busy enjoying the buffet. <laughs> oh, oh, Christina might be coming over to act with me. Yes. Okay, let's see if we can get three for three with these jobs today. Let's try that. No. No. It's Fury for the last one. Okay, let's try the other way. We've got music playing. Yes, nailed it. We nailed it. The third job of the day and we got three out of three. That is amazing. Genius. The picture is saved from the bottom line of my heart. I thank you with $1,111, but still not a jump in our celebrity status. Ah, that's so annoying. Bugger. Okay, that's all right, though. At least we, like, had a very successful day in Studio Town today. Um, we rekindled our friendship with Dawn. Oh, Christina's actually our friend now. Oh, damn, we should have said hi. She must have been one of the people I cast a magical spell on uh, to, to make her be my friend. Oh, bugger. Bugger. We really should have done that. That's okay. That's okay. Um, we'll go home. We can always come back tomorrow. And um, continue on with our money making and fame grabbing. Okay, so we're back at home. Julia's just going to go to bed straight away. And we're going to hang out with Wesley while he does some gardening. Good job, Wes. Looks like uh, some of this garden needs to be replanted. I don't think he actually has any like carrots or whatever in his inventory. So we should get him to probably get some more of those. Or we can get Julia to replant that garden. That's fine too. Um, another thing we need is, oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> Wesley and Spike do not get along. 
at all. That's really sad. We should try to make them get along a little better. Aw, guys. Ugh, stupid roses from the assess fan. Okay, but um, I forget what I was saying. No, totally forgot what I was saying. We should probably check our bills at some point soon. I feel like it's been a couple of days since we uh, checked the bills. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully we can pay them okay. Considering that we're like, oh, is that Studio Town bus in the way, Wesley? Oh, that's funny. That's fine. There we go, it's gone now. You can go and check the mail. Another thing I would like to do with Wesley is take him clothes shopping. I think, I think Wesley deserves a new outfit. I think it's time. He's been wearing these clothes for long enough. I'm kind of sick of seeing him. And um, yeah, I think I would like... <laughs> no, no animals. I think I would like him to, yeah, have something new to wear. Oh gosh, look at these bills. Okay, so let's pay the red bills. That's cool. And then Spikey's over here. It looks like he might be peeing. And then oh, I was going to say we could get them to interact a bit to try to improve their relationship. But it looks like Spikey needs to go to bed. So that probably won't happen. That's all right. All right. So we paid those bills. That's good. That's something. Fluffy seems to really want our attention, which is cute, but I still really want to make, have Spork be the cat that moves into the house. So I'm going to ignore Fluffy right now. Woohoo! Wesley got his creativity skill point, you guys. So he is now creativity level seven. Right. Oh, I think that's what I was going to say before is that we need um, another family friend for him to get promoted another level. And I think, I think Wesley should make an effort to make his own friends because right now he is totally just coasting off of um, Julia's friends for all of his work influence, <laughs> which is really dodgy. Uh, but let's call Tiffany Verb for a chat. Let's see if we can have a friendly chat with her because we have a, a slight... Oh god, okay, no, she's she's an angry lady. I was gonna say we have like a slight relationship with her, but she doesn't seem to wanna wanna talk to us, so I guess not. Um okay, well, I mean, maybe we could go out again. Maybe we could go out for dinner tonight, um, and really make the most of well, I mean, Julia's literally just eaten, but maybe we could go out um somewhere downtown again. Um, and see if we can run into a sim that Wesley could make friends with. I think that could be all right. And then Jul like we could go somewhere that has one of those pastry carts so Wesley can eat. And then Julia, can you guys stop talking about things you don't get a log about, please? Um, yeah, Julia can do something for fun while Wesley can try to meet someone. Yeah, all right. Let's do that. Okay, let's invite um, to downtown. Let's go downtown. Nice. And then you go ahead and dance, Julia. <laughs> dance your blues away, honey. Can you join? There you go. Dance together, guys. Cute. All right, let's go. Let's have some fun. Let's see if we can meet someone for Wesley to make friends with. Because, yeah, I really do feel like he should, he should probably do that. <laughs> And I wouldn't mind making friends with someone like the Burbs, um, who are, are our direct neighbours. Um, okay, so trying to have a think about where I've been and where I haven't been. I feel like I've been everywhere, man. Let's go to the boardwalk. Oh yeah, I've definitely been here before, but that's fine. Um, so is this mostly, <laughs> okay. Uh, can we tickle? Oh, I think that's, um, I think that lady is Julia Hero's dop doppelganger either. I mean, also, um, Julia's like biggest number one fan. Um, what is this? Is it, are these bathers? That looks like swimwear. Um, I wouldn't mind if there was some, some non-swimwear we could buy. 
Um, and then there is actually a nice restaurant in the upstairs of this uh, place, which we should try to probably remember because we might need to might need to take uh, advantage of that at some point. But Wesley's just going to go over there and buy a hot dog for now. Um, hopefully Julia will enjoy a hot dog as well. Who is this? Ocean. What a name. Who is this? Camille. She's a very fancy looking sim. Let's go and greet her. Let's see if we can make friends with Camille. What a pretty face. She also looks like she kind of wishes she was Bella Goth a little bit. There's also a Eloisa, which is nice. Okay, Julia, honey, you just do whatever you want to do. Oh my God, look at this guy. No, wait, stop. No, I can't interact with him. He looks like the most fun sim ever. I want to be friends with Jethro. Jethro? Oh, he just left a lot. Dang it. All right, well, let's see if these two sims get along. Hello. Cool. All right. Oh, is that Tiffany? That is Tiffany. Sweet. Let's go ahead and talk to her. No, we can't talk to her. She's just passing through. Uh, she clearly is still in a bad, bad place. Oh, no! You can't compliment a sim without your spouse getting jealous? Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, no, Wesley. Wesley just... Ah! Leslie just complimented Camille. Oh, there's Jethro again. Okay, let's talk to this guy instead. Um, and I figured it was like a nice uh, pl platonic compliment, but apparently that made Julia very upset, which is really awkward. I hope that she can forgive us. When we get home, we'll have to check out what her relationship with us has uh, dropped to. <laughs> Oh my god, Wesley, come on, just just talk to Jethro. I want you guys to be friends. Look at him. He clearly is, like, your kind of guy. Let's talk about interests. Are we both super into technology by any chance? Great. Let's try again. Yes, there you go. There you go. We love our computers. He's like, oh, I'm a CEO of a mega IT corporation. And Jethro's like, oh my God, really? I'm desperate to get into the IT game. I really want to make myself, make a career for myself. And uh, Wesley, cool. Okay. Wesley might be like, oh, well, I know some people who could help you out. Okay. I know you want to go up and do other things, Jethro, but I, I really am not done talking to you right now. I also feel kind of bad because we're totally ignoring Julia. Um, who's probably really mad <laughs> as she's getting, uh, she's getting, uh, approached by her fans and I think she's, uh, brushing them off. So maybe we should stop talking to Jethro and call the cab to go home. I feel like Julia needs to get out of here, uh, right about now. <laughs> I feel like she's had enough and, uh, we'll have to see, yeah, what damage we kind of may have done to their relationship there. I'm so sorry, Julia, honey. I didn't realize that complimenting her would mean you were jealous. Let's just talk. Can we just talk while we wait for the cab to get here? Very, a very, very short conversation, but a, a conversation. Let's try again. Okay, thank goodness the cab's here. It's 3 a.m. Let's go home. <laughs> okay, so if we take a look at Julia. Oh, she's not too mad at him. It didn't like completely destroy their entire relationship. So that's good. I'm glad. I'm actually very glad to see that they're still kind of on friendly terms. Uh, but what I'm going to do is probably just have them get to bed. And then tomorrow we will be sending Wesley to work again. So I'm really interested to see if he gets promoted. Because um, I would really like it if he did. Um, <laughs> that would be very, very, very cool. Um, they're also hungry again. So I'll get them to come over here and eat some more food. Amazing, actually using up our food instead of letting it all go to waste. What a notion. For sure, the ability to put away leftovers that they added in The Sims 2, game changing. And we're disagreeing about fashion. Great. Wesley, how many times do I have to tell you not to try to talk to Julia about fashion? Okay, cool. So <laughs> Julia's going to go and take a nice hot bath. Uh, Wesley is just going to clean up the kitchen a little bit, are you, Wesley? Good job, babe. Proud of you. I'm going to clean up everything so hopefully we don't have more flies. I'm going to fill Spikey's food bowl. Can we try to, like, pat Spike as well, maybe? Let's try to, like, make Spike hate us a, a bit less. There we go. See, you boys 
can be friends. You can get along. I know it's always hard when mummy starts dating a new man and you don't like him very much. I get it. One of my fiance's dogs, Sansa, I don't think she likes me very much. <laughs> and she definitely did that first. I think she's she's warming up to me now. But, you know, it's a bit hard when you're the, used to being the main woman in a, in a man's life and then some new person comes along and oh, takes them away. It's just mean. Okay, I don't know why Julia is insisting on waking up before her energy is actually full, but all right, she can go ahead, use the toilet, clean it, and then she needs to do something for fun. Um, I might have her... Hmm. Is, um... I don't know. Let's harvest that. Is that fun? Probably not. Harvesting honey would probably actually really not be fun. No, that doesn't make any sense at all. Maybe we'll have her play some chess and just work on her logic skill a little bit more. That could be good. Okay, and then Wesley is up. He needs to go ahead and take a shower. Why is there a puddle of water on the floor? Is this broken? No, I think Julia's just messy. Carpool for Wesley will arrive in about an hour. That's fine, no worries. I might have him just watch some TV for an hour before work. It's a toss up between fixing his hunger need or his fun need, but it is like it's much easier to eat at work than it is to have fun at work if you need to have fun. So let's go ahead and do that. And wow, look at Wesley's fancy, fancy car that he gets to go to work in now. That is actually really impressive. Very nice, Wes. Very proud of you. Today, I feel like Julia can maybe take a nice day off. She's been working so hard. She always does. And I feel like it would be nice um, for her to just relax, kick back, enjoy herself, work on her skills, have some fun. Maybe call a friend for a chat. Actually, yes, who do we need to talk to? We need to talk to Christopher and Christina, the two sims that we cast magic spells on to be our friend. Maybe we could call them up and invite them over to hang out or something like that. Actually get to know them a little since we force them to become our friend. <laughs> oh, I'm also just going to turn off the uh, stereo for now because it's annoying me. And these bills have now turned red, so we'll go ahead and pay those. But luckily, I'm not too stressed about paying those because Wesley's now earning more than that in a single day of work, which is so good. Okay, so we're going to invite over Christina, Christina somebody, to hang out with us. We're going to have to cook her some lunch because you always have to have food on the table when someone is coming over. And also, like, Julia's getting a little hungry anyway. Um, and then we might drink some tea together, have a nice time with each other. And uh, hopefully we can, yeah, sort of uh, actually be friends with her rather than just like forcing her to love us through the powers of magic. The maid is done. Okay, nice. No, I don't want you to eat that just yet because your guest is here. Let's go ahead and greet her. Hello. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for coming over. Uh, let's talk about our interests and about the biz. Cool. And then we can go ahead and grab a plate of food because we're hungry. Okay, we're getting along pretty well. That was a good chat about our interests. I'm happy with that. Sweet. Okay. Okay. So if we take a look at our relationship now, we're already jumped up to 68, which is actually better than we have with some of our long-term friends at the moment. Next episode, we may have to throw another party or, you know, just get together with a bunch of people downtown or something like that. That could be nice. And now we're just going to chill together and watch a little TV, which is always a good idea uh, to entertain your guests with a little bit of telly watching. Julia is sadly tired. Um, and Wesley's just come home with 1100 simoleons. He did not get the promotion today that I was kind of hoping he was going to get. That's okay. It might take him going to work more than once as a CEO to get the promotion to the next level. That's all right, but he's just going to go ahead, eat some food, and then he might also come over and watch some TV. I think I'm going to probably call it an episode here. 
uh, just because I think we've reached a good place to make the cut for today. But definitely, um, I was talking before about uh, starting, like changing up the series and starting to play more rotationally, um, just so we get a bit more variation in our let's play here um, in The Sims 1. I want to explore other elements of the game, so I think that could be a fun way to do it. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the thumbs up under the video. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell to be notified when I release a video, which for The Sims 1 is meant to be once a week on every Friday. I Fingers crossed next week will be a good week. Uh, this week was a good week. It was busy, but good. Uh, and I'll have another one out for you guys then. Um, there's also links below in the video description for my Twitter, Discord, Twitch, and Patreon. <laughs> I forgot. Oh my gosh. Um, so if you would like to check out any of those, please do so. Uh, but thank you so much just for watching the video, for being here. I love you all. Take care, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.